Hi, my name is Dr. Igor Tabrisian. I'm a qualified medical doctor with a background in integrative and preventative health. On this channel, I'll explore evidence-informed approaches to optimize well-being from nutrition, gut health to hormones, energy, and everything in between. Please note, this information I share is general in nature and not intended to be used as medical advice. Always consult your own healthcare professional before making any changes to your health routine. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Dr. Igor Teresian. I am a graduate of the University of Western Australia and I've worked in both Australia and overseas. I hope you enjoy these presentations. You know, in today's online world, it can be quite challenging to find objective information, especially about health, but I'm committed to ensuring everything I post here is accurate and backed up by scientific evidence. You know, as a devout skeptic, I make a point to verify information at least three times before adding it to my toolbox and incorporating it into my work moving forward. So the channel structure is this. It will be divided into four streams, nutrients, toxins, neurotransmitters slash hormones and the gut. In the nutrients stream, we will be delving into the good guys like our favorite zinc, magnesium, B12, vitamin D. In the toxin stream, we will be delving into the bad guys like the heavy metals, common home chemicals, herbicides and pesticides, etc. The neurotransmitters slash hormones will delve into things like serotonin, dopamine, histamine, GABA, estrogen, progesterone, testosterone, etc. And the gut section will be divided into the microbiome, the virome, probiotics, IBS, chronic constipation, those sort of things. You're welcome to start with any stream, but it may be helpful to watch the introductions to each of the four streams first. Just to give you some background and provide some context on why I began researching these topics, my journey started after a rigorous and conservative hospital medicine training, six years in physician training, that's internal medicine, followed by eight years of anesthesia, coronary care and intensive care. The year after I finished my senior registrar term in anesthesia, I was seconded to general practice in North Western Australia to provide anesthetic services to the hospital. However, the hours there weren't enough to sustain me, so I also assisted at the general practice clinic. It was in that clinic where my patients began to educate me, introducing me to well-organized clinical trials on nutrients. I had never encountered them before. And this was a stark contrast to my medical education where despite six years of training and a strong foundation in biochemistry, I had heard little about nutrition and biochemistry as related to health. So after reviewing a few of these cases, I embarked on my own research. The pivotal moment came when a patient told me, Igor, you should be waking your patients up and not putting them to sleep. That statement became a true epiphany for me and I shifted my focus from then on. So here we are 28 years later, I am here on YouTube sharing what I've learned about nutrients, toxins, hormones, and the gut in accessible bite-sized pieces. Over the years, I realized that much about these subjects was omitted in my initial training, or maybe the research was still in infancy at the time. For instance, if someone had suggested to me that the bifidobacterium species could be protective against the autoimmune disorders, I would have found that hard to believe. So here we come, the philosophy and the nature of truth. If you are interested in philosophy, then I recommend reading Arthur Schopenhauer. He wrote, there are three stages of a truth. The first stage, it's ridiculed. The second stage, it's opposed. And the third stage, it's accepted as self-evident. And there are two hard truths embedded in the information about health that need to be globally accepted. The first is, 
all diseases have a biochemical basis. My biochemistry textbook from 1977 mentioned this, but the problem was that it was 14 pages before the end of the book and not at the start. The second hard truth is all chronic illness is based on inflammation. No one was more shocked than I when our pathology lecturer uttered this on our first lecture in 1978. However, this has been borne out many, many times as this paper from 2019 shows from Nature Medicine. And by the way, this journal is a spin-off of the prestigious journal called Nature, not something about forest bathing. So please enjoy my presentations and if you like them, click the like button. If you want more information or want to be updated when there's more content, please click the subscribe button so you don't miss out.